This icon is making his way through every diocese in Syria to return hope to Catholic and Orthodox communities. Blessed by Pope Francis, it was originally created by this Orthodox priest. We call this um, icon uh, Lady of Syria of Sororos, yes, concealing the Syrian people, yes. And uh, I, uh, I choose to give it to uh, Pope France and he invites me to Vatican and I meet him, he hosts me in the Vatican and invites me to lunch too. Yes, and we spoken a lot about the uh, situation in Syria. It's incredible. When he saw the icon, he noticed that Our Lady's face expressed both sorrow and consolation. He saw the tenderness with which the Blessed Mother looks at her people. The bottom part of the icon is divided in two. On one side are the Syrian people seeking comfort. On the other side are the persecutors. They're the extremists who caused the martyrdom of the now saints, depicted on the top part of the icon. Among them are Deacon Fahedi Sa Al Nami and Franz van der Laut, a Dutch Jesuit who was shot to death five years ago. We decided to make a celebration for the martyrs and kidnapped people and uh, a prayer in all churches, or Orthodox Church and Catholic Church, to, to, to pray, to, uh, to be uh, together, you know, and to uh, have a, a peace, uh, peace in Syria. There is not a single family that has not suffered the death of a loved one. These tears must be wiped away. The Pope is very sensitive to this fact, to the need to wipe away the tears of those who suffer. The arrival of the icon in Damascus in the hands of Nuncio Mario Zanotti was widely celebrated. The hope is that its presence will represent a hug from the world, a symbol of unity amidst tribulation. This initiative is part of Age of the Church in Needs project, Console My People. The goal is to support Christians in Syria. For eight years, they've lived in an interminable war that has robbed them of everything, including their loved ones.